Hi Jazzy Greens and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. The Heaven's Pearls, we are starting a new Bible series. This is the Women of the Bible series. And for January, we're going to start off with Queen Esther. Let me introduce you to the Heaven's Pearls before we get started. I will have the channels listed in my description box along with the playlist. So when you finish watching my video, please head on over to the playlist and watch everyone's videos. And we are Candy, Anna, Debbie, Erica, Dee, Stacy, Sandra, Tammy, and myself, Liz. Now, when I looked up Esther, I had to do quite a bit <laughs> of reading um, to get down some information. So I'm just going to start off by giving you some key points about Esther. She was a Jewish maiden who became the Queen of Persia. She lived as an orphan and had no parents. She was raised by her older cousin. The book of Esther is one of only two books in the Bible named after a woman, a book that tells us that nothing is impossible with God. Now, I don't know how that sits in with you, but I love that. And that is so true. Nothing is impossible with God if you believe. Esther was loved and favored by King Ahasuerus more than all the other women. She obtained grace and favor in his sight. So he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Then the king made a great feast, the Feast of Esther, for all of his officials and servants. And he proclaimed a holiday in the provinces and gave gifts according to the generosity of a king. So the king gave her beauty preparations besides her allowances. Then seven choice maid servants were provided for her from the king's palace and he moved Esther and her maid servants to the best place in the house of the woman. Esther was very helpful overall in that she rescued her people from a dangerous situation which involved murder to annihilate her people. Esther was very helpful in that she saved the Jews on the day King Ahasuerus gave Queen Esther the house of Haman, the enemy of the Jews, and Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told how he was related to her. So the king took off his signet ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it to Mordecai. And Esther appointed Mordecai over the house of Haman. Now Esther spoke again to the king. She fell down at his feet and implored him with tears to counteract the evil of Haman, the Ag Agagite, and the scheme which he had devised against the Jews. And the king held out the golden scepter toward Esther. So Esther arose and stood before the king and said, if it pleases the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seems right to the king, and I am pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to revoke the letters devised by Haman, 
which wrote to annihilate the Jews who are in all the king's provinces. Now to make a long story short, and in every province and city wherever the king's command and decree came, the Jews had joy and gladness, a feast and a holiday. And many of the people of the land became Jews because fear of the Jews fell upon them. I sure hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. Please come back next month to see who we would choose. Please subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And I want to welcome you to the channel. You guys have a blessed day and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.